Hello, hello, Aquarius, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today is July the 29th, and we're going to see where are you in life, money, and love. I don't know if all in that order, but here we go. Aquarius, you open up the reading with the Knight of Swords. It looks like you or someone else is coming in to spill some truth. This is you feeling like you have to be in a battle, feeling like you have to defend yourself against somebody. I see that in the recent past, there may be someone. This could be a mentor. This could be a spiritual awakening. Listen, for some of you, this may also be a marriage, okay, with the Hierophant. This is spiritual beliefs, a spiritual union. We're going to be clarifying these cards. Um, you also have the Eight of Wands. So listen, for some of you, you're waiting for some news. And when you receive this news, it's going to change everything in your direction. Like it's just going to change everything. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords here for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please, Universal Energies, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords. Oh, this is way too many, but I will take the one that's that was by itself. Um, the high priestess. Listen, some of you are holding secrets. Okay, some of you can be coming in. I feel that for some of you, you're holding secrets back, even though somebody's going to come and try to get something from you. They're going to try to speak some truth. They're going to try to get some clarity. However, listen, Aquarius, you're keeping your mouth quiet. Why is the Hierophant here? Oh, look at what you got again. Okay, so you got two times. You got, look at this. Can't even make this up. You got this, the eight of wands, not once, but twice. This is sudden change, sudden movement. Okay, this is also temperance, okay? For some of you, listen, you are trying to balance out a marriage. For some of you, you may be trying to balance out a spiritual union that you have some with someone. Somebody may be bringing in some truth. Maybe you might be afraid of somebody revealing a truth that is going to change your the, sta the stability of your relationship. Why is the Eight of Wands here twice? Why is the Eight of Wands here twice? Yeah, you're definitely trying to balance out. I feel it's a, it's a situation or a relationship. Why is the Eight? Okay. Eight of Wands here twice. The Knight of Wands. Listen, this is young energy, okay? For some of you, you may be feeling like you are young and you want to bring in a little bit of some of passion into your life. But listen, I just feel that you are dealing with someone. Listen, whoever you're dealing with, okay, right here, is a young energy. This guy is, is very young, immature. Um, he comes in always speaking some truth because he thinks, you know, he, he's always stressed out, you know, or wanting you to, to believe something. But this is a person who comes in speaking some truth. And then you have here um, somebody wanting to bring in some kind of passionate offer. Something that's adventurous, something that's going to take you to another level. You know, so when you get here, this is something that's going to change for some of you. Why is the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here? Please, universal energies. High priestess. Okay, the page. Listen, some of you are dealing with really young energy. Okay, this is young energy. This is somebody wanting to bring you a cup of love, a small token. Listen, this is not even a cup of love. This is like a half a fish, okay? Um, this person wants to bring something in for you. And I don't know. I just see you here. Listen, if you're the high priestess and you are also the hierophant, 
I don't really think that you're going to be wanting to deal with somebody who's so young. Why is the temperance here? Why is the temperance here? I feel like I still can't get a full story on this. Why is the temperance here? Yeah, you listen, you got to follow your intuition, okay? Oh my lordy, look at this. You get the hierophant again. <laughs> so it's it's here not once but twice. Listen, some of you are dealing with somebody who's married, okay? You may be the married partner. Okay, but I have a feeling that some of you were dealing with somebody who's married in the past. And some information has been brought in um that is going to possibly change that. You know? some balance there's something that's going to be balanced out in this situation why are there two hierophants here why are there two hierophants here please universal energy spirit guides and ancestors why are there two hierophants here six of pentacles six of pentacles listen i'm gonna tell you right now okay for some of you i have the feeling that this either was a three-party situation in the past okay you could have been married this other person could have been married you guys could have been having an affair okay somebody in here knows some truth and somebody here is following their intuition whatever the case that may be you're still you're still dealing with young energy okay and like i said listen whatever news somebody brings in okay is going to explode into a situation where some truth about this third party or somebody who's giving to two is going to be discovered Oof. listen i hope that this was able to give you some kind of clarity these readings will be short today um thank you so much for being here and listen happy wednesday